I lost my scriptures on the 7th of February a few years ago. And at first I wasn't really worried because when I was one place I thought they were the other and so on. And several days went by and people, I mean, I started to complain. People said, well, where did you put them? <laughs> if I knew where I put them, would they be lost? Hello? <clears throat> But uh, I began to be concerned, and of course I prayed about it, and I would say to Heavenly Father things like, I know you know where they are. I know you can see them, and I really miss them. They had been with me to faraway places with strange-sounding names. They smelled like mold. It was, just, it was just a smell that made me kind of homesick for places I'd been. Then I'd play with him hot and cold. Okay. I'll just walk around and you say, warm, warmer, colder, colder. They didn't come. Pretty soon I got a message from them. They always call me Edmonds. Edmonds, they are gone. It's time for general conference, which is when our leaders give us guidance and counsel. Go get some new ones. Go to the scripture store and get some new ones. But I did, I went and I got some new ones and they s seemed sort of strange, they smelled different. I didn't write my name in them, but I took them to these meetings. I held them up so they could see what was happening. I tried to bond with them. <laughs> it was a few days after that that I got to the missionary training center where I was working. I got there early enough that the door near my office was locked. So I went around to the lobby, and I walked in, and I thought, well, as long as I'm here, maybe I'll see if I got some mail. And they had these little slots with our names, and I reached in, and I pulled something out, and it said, uh, Sister Edmonds, an item that would not fit in your mailbox has been placed above the mailboxes. The item is your scriptures. And I looked up. Oh, I could already smell them. There they were. And I just grabbed the little note and I rushed down the hall to my office, locked the door, fell on my knees and just sobbed. How is it that our Heavenly Father, who has billions of children, could look down on one little complainer <laughs> and, and respond? It had been over two months. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. And I, I was just, I felt so thankful. All the things I'd written in the margins and all. And then, like you sometimes do with your children, where have you been? <laughs> and they didn't tell me. I never did find out where they'd been or how they came back. They weren't in their little cover thing. But I feel so thankful. Not all my prayers are answered that way. Some things I've prayed for my whole life or for years or a long, long time. And the answer isn't necessarily no, but it might be not yet, not now. Well, so all, are all prayers answered? Yes. I am deeply convinced that our Heavenly Father hears every prayer we offer and that he he responds with love no matter what happens he responds with love and tenderness and understanding <laughs> <laughs>